Welcome to completing a Stuart triple expansion engine part 52. Everything appeared to be going well with this rebuild until I bolted the crosshead guides in position. This caused the engine to tighten up and it needed a lot more air pressure to run it in. And the airline I'm using will not stand the pressure and keeps bursting. Here's a shot of my two triple expansion engines. The one on the right was built by a man called Ronnie Maul, who's a master of the craft. The one on the left was also built by a very good engineer, who worked on American Liberty ships during World War II. This engine ended up in a cupboard for many years, until I got it. I've done a considerable amount of work on this engine because it was incomplete. In this clip, I'm setting the valve timing for the high-pressure cylinder. This is really difficult to do. If you look carefully at the eccentric sheaves, that's the part of the eccentric that fastens to the crankshaft, you can clearly see that they are not 180 degrees relative to each other. This is always a problem for me. I much prefer individual adjustment on each eccentric. After this episode, there's going to be a gap in the series. I will be making four individually adjustable eccentrics because I'm really fed up of not getting the timing right. I've just set one of the eccentrics to the correct position and in the clip you're about to see, the engine is running very well on just the high pressure cylinder, but it will not run in reverse. That is, unless I adjust the eccentric one more time to make it run in the opposite direction. Here's the first clip of the engine running in this episode. Here it is again, same direction, just running slowly. I've just opened one of the drain cocks and it still runs, which is pretty good, because this single cylinder is dragging another two pistons and all the valve gear. You can see in this clip the piece of silicone rubber that's supplying the air to the engine is starting to increase in diameter with the extra air pressure required to run the engine at a high speed. At this stage the bottom bolts that hold the crosshead guides in place were not in place. I was making slow and steady progress with this engine until two things happened. First of all, I fitted the link pipes between the high pressure, the intermediate and the low pressure cylinder. And even though the pipes were leaky, the engine did run quite well as a compound. It still won't run in reverse because of the offset of the eccentrics. In this clip, I'm winding the reversing gear back towards reverse. I've mentioned this before, it's known as notching up and it's a way of conserving the steam. When the engine is moved towards reverse, the slide valve doesn't move quite as far over the ports. And this is still on just the high pressure cylinder. This clip clearly shows how the silicone rubber tubing is connected to the engine. I made a fitting in a previous episode. But look at the piece of tubing now. Here I'm running at about 60 pounds per square inch and it's starting to balloon out. And it got a whole lot worse than that and even burst a couple of times. That's why I went to the place called Wold Engineering and bought a proper airline. I'm going to make a fitting and an adapter for it very shortly. Here you can see the engine with all the interconnection pipes in place. From the high pressure cylinder to the intermediate cylinder and from the intermediate cylinder to the low pressure cylinder. And because the eccentrics are set correctly, it's working fine. It sounds great when it's running in slow motion.
For me, slow motion on the video is useful. For instance, I can clearly see that some of the drop arms are moving when the engine is running, and they shouldn't be. This needs looking at. Thankfully, the angle on the middle eccentric is fine, and that timed perfectly when I had the engine in pieces. Even at this stage, the high and low pressure cylinders are not timed 100% perfectly. My aim is to get it to run as well as the other Stuart triple expansion engine I have, and here it is in steam. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists.
And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.